So today's video is on the overhaul of the service air compressor, the screw type compressor which we have in the engine room. Hello friends, welcome to Gadget Rishi. Yet another video today and let's get started with the basics. We switch off the power, close the air, close the water, all the isolations in place. Then we remove the exhaust fan on top and the cover to get access to the internals. Then we drain the lube oil. The oil may be very hot, especially if the compressor has been running recently. So we protect our hands with gloves. Next we slowly undo the pipes on the discharge of the oil separator just to be sure that any excess pressure build up which is there is safely removed and we can proceed with removing all the pipe work. So we are disconnecting the pipes from the separator cooler. So we are sure now there is no more residual pressure and we can proceed with the job safely. We have prepared the chain blocks, one right above the compressor and one adjoining the compressor to give the angular lift. Next we remove the transmitters for the pressure. Pressure and the temperature transmitters, electrical connections are being removed right now. Going forward, we are loosening the Allen bolts for the suction air filter sitting on top of the screw compressor. and all the pipe work associated. So the suction air filter is out. Next we are removing the pipe leading from the Compressor going to the oil separator. The connection for the air temperature. Then the top cover on the oil separator. Yeah, all the bolts are out and the top cover is out as well. This gives us access to the oil separator filter element itself. We will be replacing this. In order to proceed further, we will make sure the motor is electrically disconnected. Our chain block arrangement is in place, one directly above and one by the side. We are undoing the bolts, which is securing the motor to the frame down. And simultaneously, we also undo the bolts which are keeping the compressor attached to the frame down. 
yeah so once the compressor and the motor have been disconnected we are safe to lift the whole unit in one piece motor and compressor attached we have connected the straps or the slings in such a way that we get as best as possible a straight horizontal lift just to remove the whole unit safely we have used the other chain block to pull it to the other side and lower it down safely onto the trolley next we transport the motor compressor assembly in the workshop now we have the whole unit in the workshop so we will uh, disconnect the motor from the compressor so for that we have to remove the the coupling bolts to get access to which we have to remove this safety protection cover once out we have to undo the coupling bolts those are the coupling bolts once all the bolts are out then we open the allen key which is keeping the coupling with the key attached on the shaft so there is a lock nut and then there is the allen key itself which is keeping the coupling onto the shaft on the key and that's the allen bolt i was talking about on the compressor side once we have this <coughs> we proceed by disconnecting the motor from the coupling to the intermediate piece so we undo the bolts of the motor so we can separate the motor safely from the compressor now that the motor is disconnected from the compressor side we have the access to replace the bearings on the motor there will be two bearings on the driving end and on the non driving end so we proceed with the usual method of dismantling the bearings while the compressor is kept aside we will undo this intermediate piece by loosening the allen bolts sorry the by loosening the regular bolts which are keeping this intermediate piece to the compressor the idea here is to replace the compressor itself we are changing the screw compressor itself as per the pms so now we have the new compressor we have attached the intermediate piece and now we are mounting the the coupling part the coupling half reverse of what we did we connect the allen bolt for the key to connect this coupling half to the shaft of the compressor so allen key full inside tight and then the lock nut Yeah now we are tightening the lock nut Now the motor is ready to with new bearings and we are ready to connect the two couplings together
yeah once we have them in line we connect the coupling bolts crosswise and once they are together as a unit then we have lowered the compressor and the motor into the designated place so everything is back in position all the pipe work reconnected and we are done with our overhaul next is just filling the oil changing the filters de-isolating the unit by opening the air water walls which we closed and give the compressor a test run thank you for watching